Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery of R32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo stain off of that dark magician subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder. I really do appreciate all the support. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am because I just saw on Robbie Cole's channel that Dark Magician in 2023, you read the title right, actually got top eight at a damn regional. I don't know how many people were at this regional. It could have been 50. It could have been 500. I have no clue. Uh, I could not find a deck profile with the person on YouTube. Can't really find much of anything on Facebook on like Carlancho store, ready to duel and things like that. So I can't like find this player. I don't know what they played against. They could have gone against nine rounds of scrub, <laughs> but they topped eight. And uh, I guess for good reason, because we're playing <laughs> Dark Magician Buster Blader shit the deck. Uh, your end goal is to take a dump on the opponent's board by bringing out Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, which is literally an artifact scythe, equip it to, I don't know, this thing or this thing, and you just win the ball game. Uh, when Buster Blader first came out, the main, like, little goal with this was to bring out this Destroyer Swordsman Fusion with the Buster Dragon, because the Buster Dragon changes all the opponent's monsters to dragons, which kicks in the fusion. So... Th this is just weird. I was reading some of these effects. We're going to go through it here, but I'm just like, I know we're in a diverse format, ladies and gentlemen. Like, this format's much more healthier, uh, despite Cash Tira being a zone lock deck, than Tier Element Tier Zero format from last format. So much so that now we have Dark Magician and Buster Blader just clapping cheeks at a regional. Wow, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's let's dive into it. If you're the player that topped with this, Godspeed to you, man. Uh, I'd love to do an interview with you, talk about your matchups, or matchups lack thereof. I don't even know, but it's 2023, ladies and gentlemen. Anything's possible, I guess. So let's just dive on into this. Uh, we've got two Dark Magician. We're not playing three, because I guess three is just bad in this deck. <laughs> Uh, we're playing one Tamias the United Dragon because it's basically just uh, Fallen Albaz in order to fuse with monsters. Uh, two Buster Blader, one Magician's Rod, three Ash because it's like really good. Um, three Buster Whelp with the Destruction Swordsman. So when it when this card's normal summon, you can add a Destruction Sword card from your deck to your hand except itself. You can only use one of the following effects of Swordsman per turn and only once that turn. So the Stratos Searching effect is not once per turn. Keep that in mind. Uh, so the first effect here is that you contribute this card, especially summon a Buster Blader from your hand or grave. And then if this card is in your graveyard and you control Buster Blader, you can discard a Destruction Sword card to special summon this card. This is a level one tuner, so it helps you to go into the uh, level... Uh, eight Buster Dragon uh, because Buster Blader is level seven. So you get out both of these and you're good to go. Um, Dragon Buster Destruction Swords, also a level one tuner. Uh, this is the Scythe, uh, Artifact Scythe, I mean to say. Uh, you can target one Buster Blader you control, equip this monster from your hand or field to that monster. While this card is equipped to a monster, your opponent cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. While this card's equipped to a monster, you could special summon this equipped card. You can only use this effect once per turn. You're never going to unequip this fucking thing because once it's equipped, you're winning the ball game, pimp. <laughs> Uh, we're playing three Magician Souls, one Saravus, and then uh, two Illusion of Chaos. So the Saravus is interesting because, I mean, it does stop targeting effects. So, I mean, it does stop the Veiler. It does stop the Imperm. Imperm is, I mean, I would argue is just being played of in three ofs in, like, every single meta deck right now. And it, it also is searchable by Preparation of Rites. Um, so you are, in theory, playing four copies of Illusion of Chaos with three copies of the Saravus. Um, so you do have an easy way to get to the Saravis in order to, like, help yourself be insulated from Imperm, because Imperming a rogue deck like this is gonna really ruin your day, you know, if, if your Magician's Rod gets Impermed and that's, like, your one line of play, you're fucked. Um, same goes for, like, Tamias, you know, you're, you're not playing a meta deck here, like, Sprite, where you don't give a fuck if you get Impermed and you can just still play through it. Like, if you get hit with hand traps, like, you're gonna be shitting in your pants, ladies and gentlemen. For the spells, we're playing one Upstart, because 39 card deck is pretty good. One Monster Born, two Preparation of Rites, three Soul Servant, one Call by the Grave, three Super Poly, because it's fucking disgusting. Uh, one Secret to Dark Magic, and then only one Dark Magical Circle. You know, there's several different ways that you can build a Dark Magician deck. Uh, the one I just overrided here on my... Uh, EDO Pro was I had a uh, Dark Magician branded build on here, and it only played like two copies of Dark Magical Circle. Um, if you're playing a pure build, which I don't really know why you would, I feel like there's other ways that you can play it and just make it strictly better. Uh, you do want to max out on copies of Dark Magical Circle. So this Duelist probably only played one just because 
I mean, it only grabs, when you think about it, it grabs Dark Magician or Spell or Trap that specifically lists it in its text. So you only really have, like, what? Two, three, uh, four, like, yeah, like, that. that's really it. You don't have a whole lot of targets. So playing multiples of this isn't really even going to help you. And notice, too, like, we're not even playing Magician Salvation or Eternal Soul because... We're not trying to just shit out a Dark Magician and, you know, hope that's going to be good enough. We're playing uh, one Destruction Sword Flash. So if you control Fusion Monster, that lists Buster Blader as a material. Banish all monsters your opponent controls. So you go against Cash Tira, uh, their butthole just got destroyed. When a card or effect is activated that targets a Buster Blader monster monster you control, so say they like try and use Book of Moon on you, you can banish this card from your graveyard and negate that effect if you do destroy that card. Not the best thing in the world, but I mean... Book of Moon is seeing some play, ladies and gentlemen. Then we have Destruction Sword Memories. So you discard one Destruction Sword card, Special Summon one Buster Blader from the deck. That's not once per turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard, Fusion Summon one Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman from your extra deck, by banishing Fusion Materials listed on it from your grave. Again, that's not once per turn either. So you can, on a non-once per turn, make this huge fucking thing. Uh, yeah, th these cards are insane. Uh, and then last up, we have Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman. So you send a Destruction Sword card and a Buster Blader from your deck to the grave, except Prologue. Special Summon a Buster Dragon from your extra deck or grave, but destroy it during the end phase of the next turn. That's fine. You can banish this card from your graveyard this turn. Destruction Sword cards you control cannot be destroyed by Bow or by card effects. You can only activate one Prologue per turn. So you can attach the Dragon Buster, and then when you combine it with the Trap, this can't be destroyed by card effects, so it pretty much ensures that you're winning the ball game uh, with whatever this is equipped to. Like, yeah, if the opponent kaijus you or Santa Claus is you, like, yeah, that's that's just gonna like make you lose. But I mean, <laughs> like, like, do you care? Because you're probably still gonna win anyway. Um, but that is something that you should keep in mind. And then last but not least, we're playing two copies of Trap Trick to get to these fucking broken trap cards. For the extra deck, we're playing two copies of Dragoons, because Diabolsis is a bitch. Uh, one Mysterion, two uh, Buster Blader, Dragon Destroyer, Swordsman, one of the Dark Magicians, uh, one Starring Venom, and one uh, Dragos Capellia for the Super Poly targets, uh, two Buster Dragon, one Dark, one of the Protector Whelp, one Imduke, one Anima, and then one Link Karibo for the side deck. We're playing three copies of Summon Limit, because it's disgusting. Uh, one Metaverse, two Secret Village, because uh, <laughs> we have the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense here, ladies and gentlemen, as a spellcaster. Uh, one Terraforming. Uh, I don't really know why. I guess, like, for the Secret Village package, you can side deck it in when you know you're going first and can drop out Secret Village. That's cool, I guess. I don't really know what you would side out. Maybe, like, a Preparation of Rites or a Soul Servant? Maybe a Call By? I don't know. Uh... One Mud Dragon, and then one Diplexer Chimera, and a Master of Chaos. Um, I don't know why he would be citing this. This is one Chaos or one BLS Ritual Monster, but definitely these two just for more Super Poly targets. And then we're playing three Ghost Ogre, and then two copies, two more copies, I should say, of Magician's Rod. Um, don't ask me how the fuck you side deck in this deck, because I have no damn clue. Uh, I just know that uh, th this is Dark Magician Buster Blader. Let's see what kind of test hand we can get here. One, two, three, four, five. So we open up Prologue. You have to dump a Destruction Sword card and a Buster Blader from Deck to Grave. Okay, so this thing's always instantly fucking live. So you set this thing. You set the Super Poly. Uh, yeah, no, you, you set everything here. You set everything. Um... You discard a Destruction Sword card for this one, so you maybe keep this in your hand depending on the game state. But, like, just at face value, I would say, like, you set all of this. This can get you to, like, the Destruction Sword Flash. Um, and, well, actually, no, it can't because you're only playing one of it. Damn, that actually kind of sucks. So you have to go for, like, either this or this. Uh, Souls can get you a dump, which can get you some pluses. That's pretty good. I feel like that these Destruction Sword cards traps is like what carries this deck because these things aren't once per turn and they're basically a way to start your engine. And I don't really... Can this stuff get ashed? Uh, this one Fusion Summons. This one, I think Special Summons from the deck. From your extra deck or grave. Okay, so yeah, no, the, these things can't be ashed, right? Yeah, no, I, I don't think these things can get ashed at all. That's actually kind of solid. Uh, let's see, let's do one more. One, two, three, four, five... Um, okay, so if you happen to go second, you've got the Ash and the Super Poly to bust up the board. You open up Destruction Swordsman again. That's fucking disgusting. This prologue card is insane. Trap trick to get you to whatever it is you need. This is, this is very much rogue, but I mean, it got top eight at a regional, ladies and gentlemen, and that's, that's something very respectable to see in this format, because... <laughs> Up until now, if you would have asked me, hey, is Dark Magician a good deck? I would have said, no, it's booty booty butt cheeks. You're better off playing anything else in this format. But 
this should go to show that we're in a very healthy and diverse format. We've seen, I've covered Infernity topping an OTS championship, Gunkin Sue ship, and now Dark Magician. I mean, <laughs> Dark Magician, for all intents and purposes, is a very dog shit deck. And the fact that this just topped eight original, you know what? I got to give it to the player who who did this, especially combining it with the Buster Blader cards. And, like, you can't tell me having a fucking artifact scythe and this deck is not broken. Like, that's insane. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is there something I'm missing about this deck that I forgot to mention? I'm no Dark Magician or Buster Blader expert. So, please, let me know down in the comments if there's something I missed about this. And if you're the player that topped with this, congratulations to you, man. I uh, would love to do an interview with you if you happen to see this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.